How do you say we are rolling? You yeah, rollen. Yeah, yeah, roll. <laughs> Patrick, welcome back to Berlin. <laughs> it's really good to have you here. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. I love Berlin and I love Germany and um, Austria. It's, you know, this place has so much rich history and to come here and eat the foods and kind of see the place where my dad grew up and was born. It's, it's always great to come back to these areas. And now, you know, With your own movie. My movie. My own <laughs> film coming out here on March 22nd and to publicize to all the, the people in Germany and Austria to go and get to watch it and see me and, and what I'm up to. It's, it's awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. And it's an amazing movie. Oh, thank I, you. I didn't know what to expect. I thought it would be, you know, a nice romance for teenagers. Right. And here I am not being a teenager and crying. So thank you for that. <laughs> it's really touching. Yeah, thank I really you. love the, the color and the feel of the movie. Yeah. What was the deciding factor for you to say, I'm doing this? Well, well, just like what you said, we, we want this to be a film for everybody, whether you're, you know, a teenager or someone that's in high school, college, um, if it's your mom that's, you know, bringing your kids or your family as a whole, um, we want this to be for everybody. And um, what made me want to do it was after I read it, you know, it was um, obviously this extremely romantic, heartfelt coming of age love story, but it was different. It was not your ordinary love story because it's a, a relationship that deals with a, um, a person that's portrayed by um, Bella Thorne that's dealing with a rare genetic disorder called XP. And it's a real disease that's out there. And it's that even the smallest amount of sunlight can be proven deadly. Um, so it's a, it's a beautiful story that, that watches this relationship and um, the two of them embarking on a summer of, of love. And it's through the relationship and through my character that allows... Bella's character to to live a life outside of that isolation, mm -hmm. to really understand what it's like to be a average teenager, to go out on these dates and and experience love and have a relationship. So it's really moving. It's heartfelt. Um, it's fun as you go along the journey of this relationship, and it's it's inspiring and a little sad, like you said. It is a little sad. Yeah. <laughs> But um, hopeful, I think. Exactly. And it made me think about the most basic things that we take for granted. Right. Um, like being able to go outside, you know? Right, I know. I, do we I, do that as humans? Do we just take everything that we have that's essential for granted just because we have it? Um, I think there's definitely cases that, um, you know, for example, you know, we're here right now. We're alive and we're healthy. And um, sometimes you don't think about those things until you're in the unfortunate situation of, you know, maybe being sick. Maybe you're not able to do certain things. But um, you know, it's a, it's a goal of mine that I wrote on my 2018 goals to, to take every morning, to take a few minutes and just sit down and say like, you know, I'm thankful that I'm alive, that I'm healthy, that I'm here. And, um, you know, there's, there are the little things that people forget about that, um, there's so much to be thankful for. And like you said, going out in the sunlight is definitely one of them. Mm -hmm. Um, in life we can do everything we can try and be everything yeah you chose to be an actor you actually studied it which is amazing right you just finished um, why acting um, well like you said whatever you want to do in life you can do it and for me it was uh, acting in film I wanted to do that so yeah I was gonna go and study it uh, I went to school University of Southern California I got a business degree I got a cinematic arts degree I studied acting and um, It's just something I fell in love with growing up in the industry with my dad, going to set, visiting him, watching this whole creation and world be um, created. And it's just something I, I loved and I wanted to pursue and follow my dreams. Did your dad ever say, oh, maybe you should do something else? No. <laughs> He's always been, you know, him and my mom both are always believers of, uh, you know, whatever you want to do, go and, go and do it. You know, he always asked me and he asked a lot of people like, If you could close your eyes right now and you could have like your best dream, where where would that put you? Mm -hmm. And he'd say, and then he'd be like, all right, now what can you do to go and achieve that? What can you do to go out and make that dream a reality and go and do it? Put every day and put all your work into making that happen and you'll get there. You could have relied on your last name. You could have just said, and I'm sure you got offers very early on. You did go to school. Right. And you are doing com something completely different than, you know, your dad yep. has done. Um, was that, did that happen organically or was that a choice of yours? Yeah, I mean, growing up with my last name and stuff, it's always been something where I've wanted to create my own person, to be my own self. I have my own 
aspirations and, and um, stuff that I want to accomplish in my life. And, you know, whether that is to be a actor or someday politician like my dad or to do action films, it doesn't matter. It's, it's what I want. Mm -hmm. And um, this was a film that I felt really connected with. I love the story. And it's something that I felt passionate about. So I was excited to do it and now bring it out to, you know, the world so that you guys can see it. Um, but it was definitely important for me to be my own person and, and follow the stuff that I wanted to do. Your mom is a journalist. Yes. And I'm a big fan of hers, actually. Yes, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, what did she tell you about us, about these questions you will the get journalist. asked? How did she prep you? <laughs> um, you know, I've, again, just like growing up in the film industry, I grew up with my mom and with the journalism and, um, you know, the types of questions that maybe you guys would ask and stuff. But ultimately, it's like feeling comfortable being able to just be here. You're a human. I'm a human. We're just talking about um, something like this film. And, uh, you know, just don't be nervous, be yourself and have a good time. Could you see yourself um, maybe working behind the camera one day? Do you have like script ideas? Is that something you yeah. might want to do? Yeah, no, right now I'm definitely working on some script ideas and, and, you know, writing and using my imagination to create my own content. But you see a lot of different actors today that are um, doing more than acting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, one that I got to work with is Adam Sandler, for an example. He not only writes his own projects, he doesn't only produce them, he doesn't package them and put it all together, and then he directs, and then he stars in it. I mean, I got to work on Grown Ups 2 with him, and that was all out of his imagination. Every aspect of it, from starring in it to putting it all together, and, um, you know, hopefully one day I can get to that point, too. And um, as you work more and more in the film industry, as you get uh, your feet wet in the in the area and kind of even back from when I was going to set with my dad, you kind of just, you fall in love with it. The idea that you can, you know, have this dream or an idea and you can create it in the film um, and use film as a medium to show the world that, it's, it's really special and it's really cool. So um, anyone that thinks they have the weirdest ideas or dreams, it, it can work as a film. And it's a big responsibility, actually. You are creating art. You are challenging people's fantasies, right. you know. Um, how much do you think, how important do you think that is to be able to inspire people, for instance, by teaching them about a sickness they didn't know anything about? Yeah, I, I think it's, it's amazing, but, um, you know, it's not only for, for film, you know, obviously with my profession and what I want to do, I get to, you know, use film as the medium to bring um, light of such a disease and show that someone with this disease can have a relationship and embark on such a beautiful journey with another um, person who doesn't have it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with any sort of job or, or, you know, whatever someone else wants to do in their life, they can um, use it as finding ways to, to bring out stuff as well. I mean, everyone has a, a way of giving back or utilizing their life to help other people. It just depends how you want to do it. I, of course, have to ask you about your European roots. Yeah. We kind of claim your father as ours. Yeah. Uh, and we know he's from Austria, <laughs> but he's just, you know, we kind of grew yeah. up with him. Um, and he speaks German, of course. Of course, yeah. Did he teach you any German? Yeah. Hmm? I'm Wissen. I'm Wissen. Yeah. <laughs> so when we were growing up, it was funny because my mom has such a funny story of um, on the way to school, my dad would always do um, like kind of just simple math problems with us but it was always in German. And we always had to count to German, a count to a uh, hundred in German before we got uh, to school. And it was every morning we had to do it. And it was like, we were like young, like five and six and seven. And it was like one night I was sleeping and in my parents' room and they came in and I was like having a nightmare and I was saying, and I started counting in German in my sleep. <laughs> and then my mom was like, okay, Arnold, this is like, why are they doing this? Like, let's just give them a week off of, having to do it. But yeah, he would always teach us some different phrases and, um, you know, still every time he would say, I love you, it's always, ich liebe dich. he was never, I love you. Like it would always, he would always say it in German. Um, and then we grew up eating, you know, German foods. We still eat it all the time. Uh, so we're, we're connected to this culture and I love coming back to Germany and Austria. I was here last month and, um, it's always a great time to come. And now, especially for my own film, it's, it's amazing. How many Lederhosen do you have? My last question. I have two. <laughs> yeah. And then one's from when I was uh, little. 
but I have one that I, I really I, I wore it last month at the uh, Hanukkah ski race. Um, so. So you yeah. have the basics. Yeah, I wish people in LA would wear them. I, I gotta bring I gotta bring that trend to the U.S. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe that could be like a fashion. Yeah, exactly. Uh, thing collection. Good Thank idea. you so much, Thank Patrick. You. Great meeting you. Appreciate it. Thanks.